this video is going to help you bring your storytelling skill up to a whole nother level. I want to give you a complete new perspective on cameras that you probably never thought of. So for the longest time, we've been told that you can shoot anything with your camera. So nowadays, people shoot short films with their cell phone, feature films with DSLR, award-winning commercial with GoPros. Although a lot of cameras are designed and meant for specific condition and situation, most people just ignore that and just use it for whatever reason they want it to use it for. And as a creative, that is a really good thing because then you're not really limited by the tool that you're using and you can just be creative. But by doing that, the hierarchy of cameras are pretty much disrupted. You cannot really say which camera is better, which camera is worse because you can shoot anything with any camera. But I wanna take a few steps back and really look at the purpose on why each camera even exists on the first place and use that as a technique to bring more depth to my story. Now, here's the idea. Every camera and lens would have its own characteristic and settings. So let's say an iPhone camera would have its own color science, contrast ratio, and focal length, right? And same thing goes to a GoPro, a mirrorless camera, a webcam, film camera, or even a security camera. So usually the audience wouldn't instantly think of what camera they're seeing through when they see a footage, but subconsciously they are digesting the visual language. Although I don't have any scientific reference on how you know the brain works when they see a footage, but when it comes to storytelling, this is some details that you really need to know about. Now, the more iconic a camera is, the more people are used to its characteristic. So for example, if people see a vertical close-up shot like this, they would immediately assume that this is shot from a selfie camera of a smartphone. And when you see a low res footage with bad audio from this angle, you would assume that this is shot from a webcam. But obviously these are just the mainstream way of you know, imitating certain looks and stuff. What I'm trying to say is that you can take advantage of all of the characteristic of different cameras. And just like I did earlier, you can just put the vertical video on a horizontal video and people will feel like they're watching something raw because it is shot from a phone. So usually it's unedited. You know, obviously that's not the case, but subconsciously you might think like that. Or if you see a webcam footage, it, you would feel like it's pretty raw because people usually don't edit webcam footage. It's like you're kind of using the psychology of how people perceive footage and really tell the story that way. And actually nowadays we see a lot of music videos shooting one video with multiple media format. So at the beginning it's shot from a film, later on a normal digital camera, and then eventually an iPhone video. Usually when music video do that, it's just for like the style purpose. It just look cool when you keep switching up. But if you use that correctly for your storytelling, the audience can feel like you're bringing them through a whole journey with different media formats. One very good example that I can bring is a rising filmmaking YouTuber called Ryan NG. Whenever he shoot his mini documentaries, he always have these webcam footage, iPhone footage, but every time he switched the format, it has his own purpose. It's not just like blinding changing them. He has his own purpose and that's why it really fits his storytelling you really feel like you're going through the whole story with him. For example, when he's showing his webcam footage, I actually felt that I'm having a FaceTime with him, you know, a video chat with him. And that really bring the audience and him very, very close together. You feel like you're very immersed into his whole story. I really suggest you guys to check out his video. It's, it's like kind of like the perfect example for the concept that I'm trying to say right now. So sometimes it's not really about using like the perfect tool for your film, but rather the right tool for your film. High resolution, you know, good focal length is not always the right choice. I'm not saying that it's bad, but it's not always the right choice for your specific story. I just feel like people should know about this concept because when I thought of it, I feel like it just opened up a whole new world for storytelling. And maybe that will benefit you for your next short film. That's about it with the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.